Do you state any guidelines for proper relationships? Certainly I do. When I say well, a proper relationship, I don't know if I'd use that term. I'd probably use the term for loving relationships. Mm -hmm. Do I state guidelines? Certainly I do. If you have a look at the internet under the frequently asked questions and you have a look at the series about partner relationships and you have a look at the series about parent-children relationships, you'll see very clearly that I am stating a lot of guidelines what I, of what I feel is a decent loving relationship in those in that regard. A decent loving relationship with your children if you're a parent and a decent loving relationship with a partner if you're in a, in a relationship or a marriage. So certainly, I, and I'm going to continue to do so, there's a, there is a, a deep need on, on this planet for people to start to understand what love looks like in a relationship. Mm -hmm. And what does love look like in a relationship with our children? What does love look like in our relationship with our parents? What does love look like in our relationship with our partner? Most people have no real understanding of those mm -hmm. particular things. And I feel it's very important to share that information. However, I don't share that information with like tell people individually what to do about mm. the information. I just share the information publicly. Yeah. And what they do with that information is up to them. Mm -hmm. And I feel that's the best way to proceed with all the information we share. Share all the information publicly, share it as it is, in its nice raw format, unedited, and let people decide what they're going to do with that information. Yep. Some of them will want to follow it because they want to love. Others will want to criticise it because they don't want to love. Mm -hmm. And that's all right. If you want to criticise it, criticise it. But you, all you're doing is criticising a, a, a loving statement most yeah. of the time. And my suggestion is you know, have a look at that. If you want to criticise love, then you, you know, this is the reason why there's a lot of problems on the planet. Because yeah. everyone wants to criticise love and no one wants to be loving, it seems. Yeah. So I feel quite strongly that we need to allow ourselves to present the information as we see it and let everybody who watches, you know, make the decision as to whether they feel it's, you know, cult-like behaviour or not. And in the end, everybody who watches regularly knows that they're not a part of a cult. They know that they're a part of a, a, of a group of people who are attempting to practice loving principles in their day-to-day -day life. And it's not even a group in the set they they just they're just a group because of they're all having the same desire that's all that's right they're not physically together they're not as even a group physically and together. the majority of them don't know each other the majority they? of them don't yeah don't even know each other and we don't know them either we've never met many of the people who listen to our material and uh, and while we'd love to meet you if, <laughs> if you're listening to our material i don't feel that we're saying we don't want to meet you no. uh, we'd love to meet everybody we can um we're not uh, what i would classify as uh, motivated by the desire to meet people, have them involved with us daily, have them involved in our day-to-day -day life, or or we be involved in their day-to-day -day life. We, we couldn't think of anything worse, in fact. What we like is our privacy, yeah. and we love doing the things we're passionate about. And the thing we're passionate about is sharing what we know to be God's truth with the world. So we're definitely going to be passionate about that for the rest of our life. Yeah. And if you want to listen to that, great. If you don't want to listen to that, great. great. <laughs> if, you, if, you, if you feel that it's challenging, great, because it is. <laughs> and if you feel that you need to attack me, well, that's up to you. I don't think that's great because at the end of the day, all you're doing is attacking a loving position and that's never going to be great for your soul or anybody else. So mm -hmm. um, I just feel like, yeah, if you've got that kind of attitude towards me, time to change maybe. And my suggestion is if you want to accuse me of being a cult, then have a good look at all the other organisations in the world because there are far more leaders and members of cults than, than any person who comes along to any one of our seminars or I am a leader. And I'm certainly not a leader of any cult, you know, yeah. and never will be. Yeah.